More than 20 years ago, a community of men and women set themselves a massive challenge in Burgundy, to build a castle using the techniques of the Middle Ages. An immense project open to visitors, offering them an immersion into the 13th century. Today, nearly 40 people work every day on this medieval construction site. We decided to complete the towers one by one. So after three years, we're starting work on finishing the chapel tower. We'll build a cone-shaped timber frame over it, which will be covered with tiles. It'll be a masterpiece of timber. Like every morning, the supervisor goes over the jobs of the day with the craftspeople. Here's a drawing of the door between the two towers. Do you think a horse can deal with an obstacle like that? In my opinion, yes. From one part of the site to the next, he has his eye on everything, right down to the last detail. OK, we'll fix the struts like this. Stone quarrying is the first step in building a castle. Difficult work that requires not only strength, but precision. I've learned how not to tire myself by preparing the seams properly, which is what I'm doing now. The more time you spend on this, the less tired you get. There, it's split. And to transport the stones to the site, modern machines are banned. Everything is done like in the 13th century with horsepower. Horses are perfect for this kind of work as they're easier to handle compared to oxen. Oxen were good at long distance hauling, whereas horses were better for building sites because you can get them to turn and reverse more easily. This morning, this Percheron mare will draw eight carts like this one. Every day she moves two tons of material. Stones, timber, lime, and mortar. The stones brought to the foot of the castle are hoisted up by a treadwheel crane. Lean forward until you feel the tension. Only then do you straighten up and start walking. Don't look down at the planks or you'll end up on all fours. Off you go. Shall we start? The treadwheel was the 13th century crane. Built on site with its two wheels, it can hoist up to 500 kilos. The sandstone blocks will finally find their definitive place in the castle walls. Make the join nice and even. Every year, the permanent team is bolstered by 400 interns, keen to learn about medieval know-how. A little bit closer together. It's painstaking work, but it's another way of approaching building. This is something that will last a long time. It'll take 20 years to build, but it'll still be standing in 1,000, 2,000 years. Will today's buildings built with modern methods last as long? I wonder. In 20 years, the builders have come a long way. In 1997, in this clearing in Burgundy, there was nothing except the crazy project of a handful of enthusiasts. Today, Guedelon is a private enterprise financed solely by visitors to the site. 300,000 of them come to the site every year to attend an open-air history lesson. I had no idea how vast it would be. I imagined it much smaller and much less impressive. Building this in this day and age shows that we didn't invent much. They were much better than us. As the construction of the castle progresses, new crafts become involved in the project. That's the case for painting. 
Here, too, only local materials are used. The pigments are made from ochre from the quarry, sand and soils. These are mixed together with rabbit skin glue, a beaten egg and some water. A medieval process that has stood the test of time. Mural paintings that aren't subjected to rubbing have proven to be very resistant. The oldest surviving murals in France date from the 13th century, which shows it works. This project is a beacon for the preservation of ancient crafts. Painting like 800 years ago, smelting in a bloomery, forging, heating limestone to obtain lime, thinning and mixing cementless mortar, at Guédelon, day by day, they are rebuilding the Middle Ages.